Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days, and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is in the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with friend and chef Paul Brahini, and today's FRDC featured species is a fish called ling. Now, ling are a deep water fish with a succulent white flesh. How do you like to cook them? What I'm going to do with the ling today is going to roast the pink ling. I'm going to serve it on Tuscan black cabbage. I'm serving it with a parsnip puree and some trussed tomatoes. OK, well, while you're preparing the ling, let's find out more about this unusual species. I've got some beautiful ling here, and what I'm going to do is season it. So I'm going to grab some olive oil, and we're just going to lubricate the fish. Now we're going to season our fish with some sea salt. Pink ling is an oceanic species caught mostly in Commonwealth-administered fisheries off the coast south of Queensland and east of Western Australia. Probably going to take around about, say, five minutes on 170 degrees. OK, for the next step of this dish, I've got to make a parsnip puree. What I've got in the pot here is some parsnips, and I put in some milk and some onion, and we basically just boiled that. The species was managed as a single stock until 2013, when it was divided into separate stocks to the east and west of Tasmania's South Cape. So straight in the blender. The western stock is classified as sustainable. However, the eastern stock reached recruitment overfished levels around 2009. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is braise my uh, Cavalier Nero, or Tuscan cabbage, I like to call it. Management and industry efforts to reduce catch rates since that time have been assessed as building back to levels where recruitment overfishing is unlikely and eastern stocks of pinkling are currently projected to reach biomass targets by 2026. Until then, it's considered to be undefined stock. And we're ready to play. So now I'm going to top with braised cabbage. So I'm just going to pop our trussed tomatoes on. That should be enough. And all we need to do is top with our ling. Wow, this ling dish looks amazing. For more facts and figures on ling, go to fish.gov.au or visit fishfiles.com.au for loads of nutritional information, serving ideas and recipes. For Paul's ling recipe, visit the Escape With ET website.